We're back, guys. Uh, after a bit of technical delays there, Montville Township secondary up one to nothing over Harvard Collegiate. In the High School Star League 2017 playoffs, it's the consolation matchup between these two teams as we get on into the game. Finally. And yeah, picks and bands. We kind of missed that out. So we'll just go through this violence to end on the Renekton for Montville Township. Once again, had a pretty good game with that in the last game. This time we'll be up against 17's Trundle. Exca playing the Sejuani that was banned on the last game. Reassure you on the Kha'Zix. Sam Screams on the Corky against Hal Syndra. Food Overlord playing the Ezreal and Real BSC on the Thresh, who gets a hook down onto Jayco there in the early trades in this bottom lane. It's Jayco 5000 on the Caitlyn with fights on the Alistar. So those are your lineups for this game. Not too sure how the picks and bans just quite went down. Not the order, but band was away was. Montville Township, Bandy Wager, Stana, Nunu, Cassidy, then Janna and Lucian. Harbor Collegiate took off Vladimir, Riven, Zach, Yasuo, and Jin. So didn't want to see another Jin coming out. Didn't want to see another Zach or Vladimir. Lots of target bands there. Riven and Yasuo also thrown into the mix. And. Montville Township secondary also pulling out the 280 carry comp as well and it's the 280 carries with a lot of extra magic damage in their attacks here as it's a uh, Corky in the, for the middle lane here as well as Sweet Overlord with the Ezreal coming through but more of the casting 80 carries a lot of abilities because they be coming out from them Reassure you on this Kha'Zix might find Exca here and Exca is pretty low down to half health already Reassure you coming in here gonna get stunned up though still chasing after flash away by Exca now reassure you Should look to beeline it out of here as Sam Scream's gonna be coming in gets over the wall But still in trouble as violence the end's gonna be showing up here as well flash away by reassure you followed up by Sam Screams Getting the auto attacks down trying to dodge away the exhaust coming through they trade it out Hal ends up picking up that kill while Sam Screams takes down Ryu Shoryu, so the buff's not transferred because Hal was able to take down Ryu Shoryu. Hal was able to take down Sam Screams before Sam Screams took down the Kha'Zix, so no buffs transferred there, but it's a one for one start, and advantage does go to Hal with that first blood. Sam Screams gonna be able to pick up a kill for himself there as well, as Ryu Shoryu was looking to be aggressive there getting inside the jungle once again. Well, we saw last game him going inside the jungle looking for ganks. Fight's gonna get played under that tower. Takes a lot of damage because of it. Real BSC was getting traded right back though, but Jayco on the Caitlyn doing a nice amount of damage. So, one for one, early kills coming in here. Last game, we didn't see first blood until a while in, but this game, we see it pretty early as these two teams. Once again, face off, reassure you with that early engage. Invade. If you saw it last game when he was playing Italy, now playing this Kha'Zix here, so something we'll have to check in to see if he keeps doing it throughout the match here. Of course, it's a best of five for third and fourth place here. Though, not too sure how deep we'll be able to get into this series because we do have our grand final starting up at 4 30 p.m. PST. Slow starts here as now things do slow down a bit. Coming into the second game of this best of five with Mountville Township with the one to nothing lead over Harvard Collegiate. And a pretty back and forth early game, but it was overall it was definitely most advantage going the way of Montville Township now moving into this middle lane. Me sure it's gonna be here for the counter. Gank and they burst down Exca so quickly. Now they turn over to Sam Screams. Hal using that unleashed power, which 
definitely helped in taking down Exco like so quickly that way. We will be a C looking to get some damage out onto Jake Jack Jaco. I mean you sure you just getting that counter gank off onto Exco. Exco was on a ward there, so how an Exco had the advantage in X or we sure he was able to make his way over for the counter gank. We'll be able to steal away this rep buff as well. So just returning to his old ways there. As he was doing on the Nilly, trying to deny some buffs and counter jungle. So we sure you pops up to that early lead in the jungle there. Two assists for him now. On both of Hal's kills. Fight's gonna get hooked up. As bottom lane has been a little bit scrappy, but Jayco has been able to come out to a CSC. That has to be expected of, of a Caitlyn here. And now Gank coming in to the top lane here. 17 in trouble. Gonna get taken out by Exka. Middle lane. Solo kill as well there. Hal takes down. Sam screams. So. That going down and. Bottom lane once again. Fighting coming down. Fights does find a stun but. Hooked in by real BSD and the box coming up here as well. Just trading in this bottom lane. But the kills have been happening on other sides of the map here. Three kills in the lead here for Hal, and that's scary on that Syndra stacking up with it. Top lane, gank coming out from Exco now. Trying to chase down 17. We'll be able to get the stun down. Ryu Shoryu gonna be coming in here as well. They stun up Ryu Shoryu though, and he gets bursted down quite a bit here. He turns around though. 17 gets the kill onto Exka. Now Valence then trying to chase after Ryu Shoryu flashing in there and gets the kill. Now trying to get out. Package coming in from Sam Screams. And they just trade one for one. 17 killing Valence at the end. Sam Screams trades it right back. Five kills for Harbor Collegiate will give them a kill advantage of one. So now 10 minutes in here, slight lead over for Harvard Collegiate. And two kills, or kills all in their solo laners. Two kills for that Trundle, three for that Syndra. It's gonna be scary here, but Jungler so far have been pretty present all over the map right now. The focus is definitely gonna be have to put into this middle lane Hal here. 30 CS lead with that three kill advantage here. Bottom lane we're seeing Jaco continuing to pull ahead here. He's up by 25 right now in terms of the creep score as he's continually shoving up in this bottom lane. We've been seeing lots of trading, but no kills down here just yet. We show you once again waiting to steal away a buff here, and he's gonna see Exca coming in here, decides to go in. Wants to get this damage down. Gonna get stunned up here though by Exca. Still chasing after him, he's under the turret, gets stunned under the turret, and Food Overlord turns around and get that kill. Unleash power coming across, fight, trying to come in here, but flash by Food Overlord gets him a win now. Real BSC is in trouble though, he's getting turned down all the flash coming out from him. Sam Screams about to join the fight down here, he's going in with the Valkyrie, able to dodge away from that stun and now turn around with a lot of damage. Hook lands onto fights, they flay him back, and the damage coming through the heal though, gonna keep him alive as well as a flash to... Get some distance away there. Sam Screen is unable to finish up that kill. So they'll just be a five. So just now five for five and they kill scores. One kill got gained by uh, Montville Township.
Now, interesting movements around the map here. Really showing once again inside the jungle, looking to counter jungle some here. Sam Scream's gonna respond. A stun onto him though. This house around the area. Seventeen chasing down violence to end here in the top lane. Thirteen minutes in, and these two teams calming it down once again. Re really Shoei just all over the jungle here, looking to counter jungle, but he's warded out, so they know he's on the top half of the map, and that's where X goes down in the bottom half. They're gonna get a gank down. Fights in trouble. Gonna get hooked back. Uses the ultimate there, and will be able to break away from that chain. So we able to get out in seventeen and Re really Shoei now gonna. Shove up on this top lane, look to take down this first turret of the game, and they will be able to do so. So first turret does go over the hard collegiate as they just shove up on that top lane. In response to a uh, failed gank in that bottom side, Exca though still in the area. But is sitting on a warded brush here, so... Won't end up being able to do very much. Bottom lane fight coming in, they bring in Exco with the dark passage. Looking to get something started here. Fights does go down. The hook onto Jayco. He's not gonna be able to get away from this one, or will he? Flash is it gonna be enough to get him out there. So fight's the only casualty of that fight. And the gang in the bottom lane there will be a C and Peter will be baiting them in so they can pull in Exca. And now they find some advantage there, but Meanwhile, Sam screams in a bit of trouble here. He's low on the mana. Flash forced out by him. As we assure you, he's also in the area. But he's just uh, stealing away some jungle camps. Dragon has been started up here. And promptly ended by Montville Township. They're looking to find a kill onto somebody. Exit coming over the wall. The flash forced out by Hal. And fights just responding returns to this middle lane. One from one is the turret score, both in the top lane, out of turrets, both down there. So we're seeing a bit more roam from these solo laners now. Violence to end with the rest of his team. Once again, gets started up on this dragon. It's a mountain drake, so a bit more valuable. Last game, I think we only saw oceans and wind drake, so this is going to go down to Montville Township. Look to have a firm hold on it. Reassure you, now we're in the area. And does go down, real BSC, Unleashed Power coming through, but now they want to turn it around onto Hal for the pick. He's damaged up and he's taken out. Shut down, more violence to end. Flash over the wall by Fights. Looking to get out and will be able to escape there. Lane food overload forced to flash getting ticked down. Reshoi takes him out. 
Now here is the response. Sam Screams coming in and forces a flash for Reusuri. Really so Reusuri really just coming in for that gank and Food Overlord unable to get away. No mana there as well. Forced to use that flash. Ends up going down. Reusuri really uses his own flash as well though. So we'll be having that coming in. So 7 to 6 in the lead for Montville Township. They're starting to try to pull away a bit, but the kill lead is still in favor of. Kill still in favor. Or the goal lead, I should say, still in favor of Hardwood Collegiate, despite the kills in favor of Montville Township. It's not by much. Two turrets on the board here for HCI right now as they were able to take down that middle lane inner turret. And now looking to take control of this map here. So starting to roam around, they have lots of vision coverage in this bottom half of the map. And top lane, really sure you're gonna be popping in here. Violence to end forced to go down there. Meanwhile, fights and Jake go were able to take down Feud Overlord. Real BSC gonna come through. They try to engage onto him, but They'll just opt to take down this tower. Are you sure getting chained up there? CM Screams trying to defend this tower away from 17, but 17 just turns it around trying to take him down. Sure, going down in that top lane, 17 takes down the Corky as well. Exka in trouble. He's so close to going down. Will be able to survive. How stuns up Food Overlord and bursts him down with the unleashed power under the turret is real PSC. And he finds himself in a one on four, gets taken out. Three kills for Harvard Collegiate and pushing all over the map here. Still on this top lane, turret is 17. He's gonna be able to take down this inner turret. Violence 10 is on him though. 17 looking to escape. He's so close to going down. Violence 10 chasing after, has that flash. 17 will be going down to that middle lane turret. Violence 10 credited with the kill, but top lane inhibitor is open. And this inhibitor turret going down low, but they're backing away here. Sam Screams looking to go in, has that package. Violence 10 flashing forward. Looking to get something himself here. Sam Screams can't get over that wall to chase after. Meanwhile, Hal getting chased after by Violence to end. Violence to end takes him down. Now Fights will be the target by the Renekton as well as Exka is around here. Alistar does get taken out. Are you sure you're getting chased after here? Dodges one rocket. Gets over the wall and to safety after that. So interesting fights there, 2-0 for Mountainville Township, but they lost their top lane inhibitor turret and took a lot of damage to their bottom lane one. So now we'll be looking to see what Har Harvard Collegiate can do just after picking up that lead. And looks like the Baron is going to be their response here. So 21 minute Baron very early on in the game. And all five members of Harvard Collegiate are up, so not too sure how well this is going to go for them. Baron started up, 17's around, so is Jacob, they want to turn around for a fight, but they're still fighting right outside the pit. Damage still coming in from the Baron, and they're going to opt to back away from it after they get the kill down onto 17, a very smart move from them because they got way too low there, so they'll be backing away, and that's Harvard Collegiate Institute able to stop that Baron from happening. Risky move there by Montville Township, but don't lose too much for it.
Fertile Drake just spawning here in Montville Township. Look to take their second dragon in the game, and Infernal Trick will be nice with them. They do secure it. Now they want to move in for a fight. Jaco and fights here on the side, but reassure you is on the other side here with Hal looking to get in here. Teleport will be coming in the middle of the fight, so 17 will be popping up in here. They're trying to chase after Hal. They do set him up, and a lot of CC flashing to get away, though, and turns around, Unleash Power takes him down, but the Ultimate came out from Food Overlord, but now he's just in trouble. Three members are already down for Harvard Collegiate. And Food Overlord, Real BSC, look like they can't really escape here. They're in enemy territory. Real BSC getting taken, getting chased down. And looks like they may just leave him, though. He's just a thrash. And there are bigger prizes that Mountville Township have their eyes set on. Four for, no four for one fight, as they did lose Hal, but now turning over to this Baron. Real BSC knows this is going down, but can't really do too much about it, so. This will just go over to Montville Township. Taking up the first Baron of the game in 2340. And they'll be able to get out with it. Overlord can then get caught out here by Reshow. You burst it down and taken out. Harvard Collegiate picking up the leads here after picking up that first Baron. And now this. Gonna lose a bottom lane inner turret for it. Inhibitor turret. They've already had their base so damaged. And Harbor Collegia really pulling it back in this game. For the second game of this matchup when they lost to Montville Township in the first one. Harbor Collegiate now. I'm gonna be applying pressure on all three lanes, especially with the Baron up minions. And with the base so heavily crippled here. Monville Township would be having to be gonna be forced to play defense now. This the damage from how the damage from you sure use so much. Gonna try to catch off Exka. Meanwhile, Sam screams getting chased after by 17. Gonna be dodging away with the package. Real BSC cut up by Ryu Shoryu. That's an easy kill for Ryu Shoryu. He's inside the base. Back out to Food Overlord. He wants to take him down again. There's a double kill as he takes down once again. Food Overlord just respawning. We'll be able to get the kill onto him. Absolutely savagery, but shut down though. However, top lane, they just lost the inhibitor. How reassure you is down after Von Stan put an end to that violence. However, top lane getting forced in here. Barreled up minions. Just took down the inhibitor. Now they're waiting for the other waves to catch up, or they want to turn around and start putting damage onto this Nexus turret. I'm doing a decent amount to it. They'll switch over to this bottom lane. Inhibitor is wide open for the taking, and they will take it. 26 minutes in, two inhibitors down. Respawning the whole team of Montville Township back up. Are you sure he still has a death timer, so he won't be coming back in for a while, but real BSC gets caught out, and Unleashed Power finishes him off. Hal gets that kill, gets some extra gold to go back and spend. 23.50 he has to spend there, and he'll use it now so two inhibitors down only the middle lane one left open harvard collegiate institute dominating now in this game here as they pull ahead to a uh, 11,000 gold lead 11,600 gold in the lead for them here and they'll just continue to expand if things keep going the way their way great advantage coming in here for them and now they're moving into this middle lane 17 looking to keep these other lanes pushing. Von Stan is trying to push back up on this top lane. Just relieve some of the pressure on his team right now as middle lane starting to get pushed in here. And just so much damage coming up from this team now. 
We show you looking to engage. Getting onto Fido Floor in the back line. Gonna get stunned up though. They wanna try to engage in onto him now. Exka gonna go down. Jayco with the kill. And now gonna continue to chase after under the base. Fights in the front line. He's going low. Von Sen picks him off. But Von Sen gets bursted out himself. 17 with the reassure you on the back line. Takes down Food Overlord once again. And now under the Nexus turrets. They're chasing double kill for 17 as Real BSC is gone. And this is gonna be it here. Four kill. Four members down. A one for four in favor of Harvard Collegiate. Sam Scream still alive. He takes down one himself. Gets stunned up by Hal. But takes away so much damage. Forced the Valkyrie onto his own fountain. As his base is going down. Harvard Collegiate pick up game two. They tie up the series. With the ace. And it's one to one. Well played game coming out from them. And now we have a tied match for the consolation matchup here. We'll take a quick break before getting on into our third game. Guys, we'll be right back with more High School Star, High School Star League, League of Legends 2017 playoffs. Stay tuned. 